Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Crates Plus. So this is a really awesome Crates plugin which allows you to create awesome crates with lots of different cool items that have custom names, custom laws, enchantments and loads of other cool stuff. So uh, I have two here that I quickly made. We have the butter case which has a golden shovel or some golden ingots and we have a diamonds case with lots of um, different things so fake diamonds we can get uh, armor that's enchanted or just a sword so to open these we need a key so if we do full slash crate this will show us all of the commands and we are going to do create key followed by my username and then the key type so butter and diamonds with a z there we go so diamonds now once we open this it will take uh, I don't know about 10 to 20 seconds for it to pick a random item um, so here we go as you can hear there is a quite a loud sound and it's choosing between them it's rolling uh, so it should pick any second now and we got the golden shovel so obviously there's a 50 50 chance of that happening um, but this one it could be any of them because uh, obviously there's a lot so as you can see it, it's left click to preview and right click to open as long as you're holding the key that is so this is really awesome that you can do this and which one are we going to get so hopefully we get yes okay so we got the leggings glad we didn't get the fake diamonds so what we're going to do now is create our own so let's go ahead and grab I don't know some food uh, carrots carrots are nice potatoes and some steak steak is my favorite so what we're going to do, we're going to create our own food crate. So if we do crate and then create, uh, we're going to call it food. Very straightforward. And once you've done that, you can go crate and then settings. Now this is the settings for every single crate. So we can either reload the config or edit crate. So we have all of three here. As you can see, these two are colored. We have the option to color it as well. Now in here we can rename it, we can edit our winnings and we can edit the color. So food, uh, I'm going to give it a green color. Let's go back into settings and as you can see it's green now. I'm now going to give it a capital F because uh, capitals are good. And we're going to edit the winnings. So by default there is a sword with some nice text here. We're going to keep that in there. Um, and we are going to pop in all of this food. So um, there we go. We have all of the food in there, just hit escape and that is the crate save. So if we do crate and then crate uh, and then food, we will get the food crate. So um, where should I pop it down? I'll pop it down here. There we go. So you can see the color at the top and if we left click you can see um, all of the different things we can win and the colors here as well. So if you want to delete a crate, um, you need to be in game mode 1. Uh, pop one down, shift left click to delete. If you just left click normally obviously the uh, the preview will pop up. So um, yeah that is how you create a brand new one. It's very straightforward. Uh, so what we're going to do now is do create uh, key, my username and then food. So hopefully we get something good. Right click and uh, I hope we get the steak. As I said it's, uh, it's probably the best food there is. Especially done medium rare but we are going to get an apple very healthy but uh, not quite a steak is it so that is how you set up the crates in game as you can see it looks really nice you could have these around spawn uh, you could give people crate keys from voting or donating or whatever you want however you want to do it uh, so let's go in the config file and show you how you can actually edit uh, these things and add maybe laws or uh, text or enchantments all that good stuff so here we are in the crates plus folder and as you can see there are three YML files and one folder. So if we look at the bottom one which is messages, this is very straightforward. This has all of the messages that pop up when players do certain things and the prefix which you can edit and maybe change the color of if you want to. Data, this stores all of the locations of the chests. And finally we have the config which has all of the main parts and openers. So this is important, this tells you how your uh, crates actually work. So there are two different ones by default, basic and no GUI. You can download a CSGO one if you want, that link will be on the Spigot page. Uh, but by default it's basic and I have set it uh, up at the top to no GUI. So you can change it here to uh, whichever one you want. So either CSGO or basic. 
but make sure you've downloaded the uh, CSGO one if you use that one. You can set a cooldown for the chests, you can add crate protection, and you can change the hologram text as well, which is awesome. So um, here we have a list of all of the crates, all of the items, and everything here. So you can change everything about this, it's really awesome. So you can set a preview, a firework, a broadcast, knock back if they don't have the key, uh, which sends them flying, which is awesome. But don't set that too high or they might, I don't know, hit a building or something. The color, which you can obviously set in the GUI, and the block. So I think I may have copied uh, one from the website. Let me have a look. Yes, I have. So this shows you all of the different things you can have. So you can set crazy enchantments. Uh, you can set a colorful name and you can have awesome commands and set a percentage chance. So bearing this in mind, um, we are going to edit uh, one from the butter chest down here. So uh, here we have the golden spade. As you can see, I've had a colorful name uh, added and we are going to add some commands. So go down below, make sure you don't have any YML errors. Uh, so let's do commands like this and you can literally add what you want so we're going to put an apostrophe say hello to the player so hello name um, you got very lucky and then uh, percentage 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 sign <laughs> uh, like this and that will show them the percentage um, you won and then tries. So this will hopefully say hello username you got very lucky um, and it will say 25% or something um, uh, you won prize and then end with an apostrophe. So if we look at the top there are more of these placeholders there is name, display name, this will show you your rank uh, which is pretty cool and you can have a percentage of winning so this is the one we used and we also use prize and you can get the crate name as well. So that's very useful that you can do that. Uh, where are we? Down here. You can obviously set laws as well. So if we go down here, a uh, similar way you can just put a hyphen, uh, an apostrophe and random law or whatever you want depending on uh, your items. And you can also set um, enchantments, crazy enchantments. So I don't know if we have any. Uh, about but if I paste this back in uh, you will see that uh, we have all of these it's very straightforward you put a hyphen and then the correct name hyphen the, um, the strength of the enchantment so make sure you do this properly make sure you don't paste it in like I did because that will break um, break the plugin completely so make sure you do this properly and if you look in your uh, config your console you will see any errors and it will tell you where the problems are so that is how you sort that out it's a really awesome plugin subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time